Yo, that's what's going on with you. This week I read that James Patterson took a shit. This was a new release when I added it to my list, and the top review said that it was the worst book ever, and to me that's like ringing a dinner bell to a shark. So what do I think of it? It sucks. It's fake. The end. We're not even a minute in already, and I can tell this is gonna be good. We're introduced to Daddy, whose last name is Wolf. Recalling how his second marriage ended on a similar trip when he and his soon-to-be ex-wife were both singing joyously about how their marriage was already over. Fuck man, just dump all that exposition on me, otherwise I might be intrigued. There's a dramatic confrontation on the boat, and Patterson refuses to go into detail on it. Like, he does the family guy thing, but it's all straight-faced. Hey, what are you doing up here? Wait a minute, what the hell is this? Oh my god, it's you! The man or woman who's been killing everybody! Stay back! Stay back! What happened? You were spewing information out of both ends. What happened to that? For fuck's sake, it's like your book decided to lawyer up and won't say shit now. It's astonishing you write in this way and you are somehow successful. Remember kids, skill is not a determiner of popularity. We switched perspectives and you'd be forgiven for missing that for a hot minute because I missed it. We did suddenly switch to first person, but honestly I was just gonna do my best to ignore that. Yeah, that's wrong. I know, I know, I have to grade on the curve here. But I only realized this was a different person because they mentioned that the team is finally cool with allowing themselves to be coached by a woman. So Joe Wolf was killed on a boat, presumed drowned, and his daughter Wolf is the coach and another wolf watches the wolves practice. This really is a house of wolves. Hey, you get it? This is the title and the point of the whole story! It's just dumb though. Like, I won't even go into all the stupid- Like, daughter is supposed to be estranged from the family and a huge disappointment. Neither sister nor any of her four brothers are worth remembering, so I won't even try and explain them to you because the book certainly doesn't. So the next few chapters are dedicated to dad's will being read and how daughter doesn't want dad's money or position because she doesn't want to turn into him. And sure, that's fine or whatever, but you know what isn't fun to read about? Rich people who are complaining about how rich they are because they're just that good a person. Like, you could really sum this all up with, I don't want anything from that man and move the fuck on if she's not actually going to try to do the sensible thing and make everything respectable. But the book just drones on and on and on and on. From here on out, spoilers abound, so skip to me final thoughts if you are want to avoid plot details. Turns out she takes the position along with daddy's money anyway. I wanna die, so I'm going home. The next leg of the book is dedicated to Big Bad Wolf Girl's journey to emasculate her brothers and every other male on the planet. She fools everyone around her multiple times, and when she's not doing that, she's pulling rank on them. None of this is due to her being particularly clever, but because Daddy died and left her everything while all the men around her are narrow-minded idiots. There you go, Hollywood, a storyline all set up and ready for you. Maybe you'd finally have a perfect book adaptation. Wouldn't make it suck any less. But yes, let's go, slay queen, women, power, and so on and so forth. Fucking shoot me. Remember when women could actually be conniving and clever when they wanted? That was nice. I missed that. You're a monster. <laughs> oh no. You brought the monster. So, Banner. That's your play. What? Loki means to unleash the Hulk. Remember when they could do it without actually bringing the men around them down to nothing? I've been compromised. The world may not have ended in 2012, but writing certainly seemed to die around that time. So there's a few moments that I could point out as the book progresses, but I believe that the choices of these comes down to a few moments. Firstly, there's a moment when She-Wolf is taking down the coach of the team and literally says, I am woman, hear me roar, which hasn't been edgy since before I was born. Secondly, is the moment when She-Wolf is shamed by leaking a naked picture of her body with her ass pointed at the camera. This picture was put on the front page of a newspaper, under the headline, What an Ass. Yeah, because that's how that would ever go. As if private pictures of a well-known being were a true scandal anymore. It's not like she was murdering puppies. Just a naked college girl trying and failing to be sexy. But she doesn't take any agency for this past action of hers anyway. No, no, no. It's not her fault naked pictures of her resided on an ex's phone that she never followed up on. For the record, I'm not defending the releasing of private photographs. I'm merely pointing out that everyone born past 1980 should know if you don't want it shared with the world, don't put it on the internet. Or, in this case, on an ex's phone. That having been said, what kind of weirdo holds on to his ex's nudes for, like, a decade? Can I read about a chapter with human beings in it, please? Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? The worst part of this is we spend zero seconds with She-Wolf actually learning what she wants or what her motivation is. I have no clue why she's doing anything that she's doing. She's just doing it. It's one of the greatest nails in the coffin for immersion, and I wasn't all that deep in anyway. So James Patterson has a love of keeping readers in the dark in the most overt and annoying way possible. 
It's not annoying as in a, oh, I want to know so bad. Rather, oh, great, I'm just going to fucking not know what happened for another few pages for literally no reason. Lack of information can be a wonderful tool, but it's exceptionally annoying to tell us that our character gets or delivers information, but refuse to tell us what it is for a grand reveal later. It's like grade school level lame. No, that's not fair. There are some really intelligent second graders who could realize how dumb this is. There are so many things wrong with this that I honestly can't even begin to walk you through everything, so let's just tackle a few moments that made me laugh or groan as required. Two men are talking about dads unaliving and they argue about how murder and unintended death are differences without a distinction. No, they are differences with a huge distinction. Primarily, legal punishment per involvement. Dad's ex-wife repeatedly throws a fit because she was, quote, left out of the will, despite the fact that she signed a prenup and is, you know, an ex-wife. Why would she get anything? Like, she got to keep the house she was in. And that's already far more than most people would leave an ex, at least voluntarily. She was also engaged in some almost incest with her stepson, but that means nothing and goes nowhere, so it's just gross. She, Wolf, sleeps with her newly hired coach, which is mega stupid, constantly dates the detective investigating her and her father's death, which is stupid twice over, and anytime these blow up in her face because she's an exceptionally public figure, she blames the media for it. There's also sort of a resolution where the detective has hope for their... Well, I can't call it a relationship because there's nothing even akin to romance. So he helps keep fucking She-Wolf, and you're supposed to care, except we don't. She gets so wrapped up in her own shit that she misses her high school team's game, and they decide to fire her over it, despite the fact that they never lose and don't fire her. Man... Sure would suck if there were actual consequences for extremely irresponsible actions. Who wants that? Who wants believability and growth? But no, yes, slay all day, queen. Go whammon, here you bore. Things crash to an end in a way that is entirely predictable and entirely boring. I don't even care to really spoil anything in the specifics, so let's just end this shit. My personal score is .5 out of 10. I can't imagine who this book would impress. All I know is that if I were on a date with them, I would stab myself in the jugular to get out of it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that bingo card. <laughs> We've done it! This book genuinely sucks so much! We filled out every square on the bingo card! It's the king of suck who did it! Oh, way to go, you fucking hack! Anyway, that's all for this time. So if you have something else you want me to review, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see what we get into next time. Go ahead and subscribe. Until then, drink plenty of water, tell your parents that you love them, and stroke your mustache at night. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this or you're upset that I destroyed something you like, why not rip into something of mine is fair play? My book, Case for Connors, is now available on Amazon. Link in the description.